Saturday nights, it's time to stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Knights. It's Wednesday, May 29th. I'm Sadrinina. And I'm Taya. The Bulletin is, is on. on. Have you seen the results for the track meet this weekend? No, I haven't. What are they? State track and field meet happened last weekend. The Knights represented well. Check this out. Riley Wheaton placed second in the girls' shot put. Dallin Anderson placed seventh in the 1600 and third in the 800. Isaiah Cadango placed third in the 400. And Cecilia Powell placed fifth in the 400. The boys' 4x4 four four broke the school record in the prelims, besting the old record by two seconds. The team consisted of Isaiah Cadango, Isaiah Addison, Oliver Horton, and Dallin Anderson. In the finals, the boys' 4x4 four four took fifth. This team was Isaiah Cadango, Joshua Luters, Oliver Horton, and Dallin Anderson. The election results for the class of 2025 officers are in. Let's take a look at who will be leading next year's seniors as senior class officers. Congratulations to President Virginia, Vice President Avery, Treasurer Jacqueline, Secretary Elizabeth, PR Officer Savannah, and Student Faculty Rep Velvet. KeyCob will be holding a potluck. Everyone is encouraged to come show up and bring an item or two. Key Club members will also be given opportunities to pie and any board member in the face. Well, that sounds interesting. You have to win many games and challenges to vie for a chance to wield the pie. Folks from a Salvation Army will be stopping by as well. Key Clubbers are encouraged to come support your supporters and express your gratitude. The potluck is on Thursday, that's May 30th, after school in Miss Irish's room. Stop by room 232 and sign up. Here is a volunteer opportunity. The Ways Goose Print Festival is seeking volunteers. Have you heard about this art festival? This event takes place on Saturday, June 1st at the Marvin Williams Center parking area. The volunteer roles include helping to make the art with the infamous Inky Hands crew, along with general volunteer roles like greeter, info booth, and more. Shifts are available from setup to teardown from 9 till noon, from noon till 3 p.m., and from 3 to 6 p.m. No experience necessary. If you want to know more, search for Waze Goose on Facebook or stop by room 129 and talk to Mr. Painter. If you are interested in becoming a foreign exchange student, use this Google form to sign up to attend an informational meeting on Friday. Both summer and year-long student exchanges are available. Now is the time for current 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students to start exploring this amazing opportunity. The Senior Baccalaureate with service will be taking place at 5 p.m. on June 5th at City Chapel of Bremerton. Scan the QR code if you plan to attend this event. This will give the host an idea of how many seniors to prepare for. Today, the gym will be open for volleyball from 1 p.m. to 2.30. So get your volleyball gear and bump, set, and spike in the volleyball open gym today after school. That's it for today. Have a great Wednesday. Go, Go Knights! Knights.